going back to that that instagram video you get a tone kind of like this <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So a couple days ago, I posted, well, more, more than a couple days, but, but I posted this video on Instagram and here on YouTube too. So on Instagram, it actually went crazy. I think this is actually my first viral video in a way. Yeah, just like for whatever reason, the algorithm just pushed it in front of a lot of people. And I got a lot of comments, um, you know, from people enjoying this. So I figured, okay, let's break down a little bit what's going on guitar wise and how I usually construct riffs like this one. So this hopefully can be helpful for some of you who are interested so before we get into it make sure you check the links in the description for free resources the modern guitar toolkit which is free and the free training on modern guitar that you can find again in the description lots of free resources lots of very helpful resources for your practice sessions so make sure you check it out with that said let's see what the hell i came up with all right so basically what i do is i usually do this in uh, Ableton but you can obviously do this in any DAW so have my uh, guitar track here ignore the rest it's just the routing that I have for lessons and videos uh, I have the archetype Pliny the sound the the preset that I usually use is I think this one it's just uh, moderately distorted tone Obviously, if I hit the strings, as you can hear, it's very responsive to the touch. Depending on how I play, you know, it reacts uh, really well to the to the touch. So this is one part of the tone. The other part is basically duplicate. Oops, I duplicate the track, and on the, sen uh, on the second one, I use this um, this preset here that I have, which is the clean amp. But as you can see, look at that. The cabinet section is actually off this one now check this out it sounds kind of like a piezo You know, very, very open, very clean, almost hyper clean in some way. And you know, when when you do when you combine that with the with the palm muting, you get this very percussive, almost kalimba like sound. You know nothing new really here like this is a very uh, famous and common technique again for whatever reason people thought I was doing something crazy or, or magical but it's actually very straightforward it's just this and, and by the way the, the missing part is I blend the two tones together and so you know going back to that that Instagram video uh, you get a tone kind of like this <laughs>
But yeah, so that's the big secret, you know, behind that clean tone. Let's talk a little bit about the riff itself. Many people ask about how do you come up with a riff like that? Like, what's the thinking process behind it? Let's break it down a little bit. It's actually quite simple, at least conceptually. It's actually a bitch to play, but basically uh, the tune that, that I took this from, which is, you know, something that, that will come hopefully very soon in a complete form. But basically that, that tune is in C sharp minor, so for that section it goes to the uh, fourth degree. And, you know, it starts with this F sharp minor arpeggio, which down here is very bitchy to play. Just um, you know, just F sharp minor with the <clears throat> added ninth, and then a bunch of hammer-ons. And from here, we go into these arpeggios using the open E string to bridge the gap between the two. So it's just at nine shapes. F sharp, A at 9, C sharp at 9, and then a little C sharp minor arpeggio. A little bit of selective picking. Same arpeggio as before, an octave up. Second, let me open the crystal clean track. And then here is just once again F sharp minor at nine and C sharp minor at nine. It's mostly just using add nine chord shapes, like I always do pretty much. And yeah, just using open notes to connect some of them. And then I guess another useful thing would be um, to practice this hybrid picking pattern. Economy picking, hybrid picking, so I just down pick the first three notes and then pluck the higher, the open E string, and then upstroke on the B string. from nowhere here I guess a cool thing here the open strings create sort of this melody And yeah, that's kind of the, the whole riff. Again, for whatever reason, the algorithm blessed this one in particular. Uh, I don't know why, but I actually have a lot more of this coming. So hopefully in the in the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for that uh, if you enjoy stuff like this. Yeah, hopefully this little sort of tutorial has been helpful. I will talk a little bit about the production of this as well, which I think is quite interesting in a couple of ways. There's a couple of things that can be helpful for you guys to know. So uh, I might talk a little bit about that in the next videos. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check the links in the description again for free stuff and free resources. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Ciao.